we're in Romania, home of bears, Dracula, and of course, this giant guitar. You might be wondering, why a giant guitar? Well, we're on a mission to find the world's most unique experiences. And that brings us here, to Romania. We rented a car in Bucharest and drove for three hours all the way to Transylvania. Transylvania is a place known for two things. I am Dracula. That's right, the home of Dracula. And of course, bears. Lots of bears. Two things I hope we never bump into. This is creepy. We've arrived at the giant guitar. And believe us, it is giant. I can't actually believe how big it is. It's so cool. Go stand next to it. Oh, okay. Run, 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 run. Oh, that is big. <laughs> that is big. Sometimes it looks bigger in pictures, but this is actually huge. Can I try the, what are these called? String. Strings. Are you ready? Yeah, go. Oh. oh. No. That Maybe. doesn't work. Maybe don't do that. Let's not do that. I love the detail. It's so cool. It's huge. It is. It's so much bigger than I was expecting. It's massive. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be sleeping in the world's biggest guitar. And I'm pretty sure I can hear some cats. Oh, here we are. <laughs> We've got some house guests already. You, security. I have reservation. I can go. I think that was a you can go. Are you sure? I don't want any trouble. Oh, look at the little key ring as well. It's got a guitar on it. No way. <laughs> that is so cute. Let's have a guess at how many things we think are going to be shaped or like a guitar memorabilia inside. I see it gets closer. So I think uh, seven. Seven? Yeah. I'm going to go 11. Oh, okay. I've got an idea. What if when we open the door, we both close our eyes and then open them on the count of three? Let's okay, do it then. Let's go. That's a good idea. Close those eyes. Okay, this is actually harder than I thought. This is, oh. yeah. <laughs> this is hard. You don't actually know what we're walking into right now. Still closed? Okay, yeah, still closed. Right. right. One, two, two three. three. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! This is so cool. That's actually what? way bigger than I thought. That's quite cool. Oh, no, Carl, you're gonna die. What? <laughs> oh, they've really gone all out with the guitar theme. This is nice. I am extremely impressed. This is probably going to be one of the best tiny homes I've ever seen. Should we get stuff out of the car? Yeah, sure. Oh, Rebecca, there's another oh car. Oh my gosh, oh no. my gosh. <laughs> this way. Nope. He's like, yo, this is a cool guitar. I've been waiting all my life to come in here. <laughs> Nobody ever lets me in. <laughs> oh, no, that's too many. Uh-oh. Uh come on. You might have a few questions, like how big is the guitar? Why was it even built? And how did we find it? Well, Airbnb have this pretty cool feature where you can search by categories like, oh my God, and trending. And also, because it's our job, which is exactly why you should subscribe so you don't miss places like this in the future. As for the other questions, we'll save them for Dragos later. So we were gonna give you a tour, but it's just got dark ridiculously quick. We do, however, have something planned for tonight that should be fun. We have no idea what they eat in Romania, but I do know that we're not leaving this place until we've tried some traditional Romanian food. Ooh, I'm excited and I'm hungry. So we spoke to a few people and booked the most local and authentic restaurant we could find in the area. So we've just arrived at probably the most traditional Romanian restaurant you could potentially ever go to. If there's stuffed animals on every wall, there's a stuffed badger. I guess now we just need to try some traditional Romanian food. This place is also a fresh trout farm, which makes sense because most of the menu is trout. I've just realised that we have no data whatsoever, so even if we wanted to translate the menu, we couldn't. This dog could see we needed help, but we needed help from the professionals. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this is the most traditional. Okay, maybe we try one of those? Yeah? I think. Yeah. What is this? Fish eggs? Yes, yes, yes. Very uh, yes. This one then? Okay, yeah. one of these? And these two as well. So we picked a few things that we probably wouldn't usually pick in a restaurant. Yeah, this is probably going to be interesting. First up was fish eggs on toast. Oh my God, that's the weirdest thing. There's about a hundred eggs and every single one pops, audibly pops. Oh, popping. Next up was the fish chowder, followed by this fresh trout, which came with a traditional Romanian side. That's what? Polenta. Mash. No, polenta. I don't, I've never tried it before. It looks kind of like mash, but a bit more. Polenta-y. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> and finally, something maybe a bit less traditionally Romanian. I guess the best way to explain it is just fish and chips. This one you cheated with. Hang on, hang on. They recommended it. That's good fish. Mm. That is nice. I like the planta. We definitely ordered too much food and it was getting late. So it was time to head back to our giant guitar house. It still feels strange saying that out loud. That was probably one of the most authentic restaurants we've ever eaten at. They told us that 80% of the food they serve is produced by themselves. You can tell it's so delicious and fresh. Right, we're going to bed because we've got a lot planned for tomorrow. You'll probably want to stick around. Good morning! Not gonna lie, last night was a bit of a rocky one. The wind was crazy. It would be quiet, peacefully quiet, and then two minutes later... <laughs> I thought the guitar was gonna get blown over, but we did get to wake up to this view. Check this out. We've got some snow-capped mountains. There's beautiful forest. Lying in bed, looking out Ooh, at the beautiful nice. view. This is my favorite thing to do, like enjoy nature whilst in bed. <laughs> Someone's just knocked at the door. I don't know who's knocking at this time. Brian, you're not coming in. How many times do I have to tell you? We're gonna go and get ready and then we'll show you guys around. Now, ultimately, this is a tiny house, so it all shouldn't take long. We'll start with the living room. A dining table for four. A couch, this whole storage area. And we got some blankets, which is always nice. Some slippers in there. Kyle's got the other pair on his feet. We have a fully functioning kitchen. Yeah, everything you need in here. Even a coffee machine. And then in here, you'll never guess how big this bathroom is for a guitar. Hang on, one second. Lights on, come on in. So I was pleasantly surprised by this room. So it's pretty cool. I like how the side is curved like the shape of the guitar. And we was quite surprised to find that this guitar has not only one bedroom, but two bedrooms. And I love the use of this wood. It really brings the outside in. Really brings the outside in. Yeah, it brings the outdoors inside. Up in the bedrooms, we have a, a mattress on the floor. It's not a mattress on the floor, it's on a bed. A lovely quote on the wall. Music is what feelings sound like. Do you think that's how it goes? <laughs> not quite, I think you missed, might have missed a few notes. <laughs> and we now have the option to separate ourselves from each other for a while. Bye, Kyle. Bye. Oh. Bye. Oh yeah, that's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> I love how the room follows the same shape as the guitar. You've got the curve of the guitar and then it dips in the middle and it goes to the other side. And of course we can't forget our friendly little competition. Let's have a guess at how many things we think are going to be shaped like a guitar memorabilia inside. I see it gets closest. <gasps> oh yeah. Um, what was your guess? 11. My guess was 12. No it wasn't. It was 11. I'm going to go 11. 11, 12. Mine was seven. I've already spotted quite a few different guitar shaped things in here. I think I might have gone a bit too low. Let's have a look. So we've got one, two, guitar cup, three. What is this? Oh, this looks like it must have been the uh, model before they made it. This is really cool. It's got the little sofa in there. It's got the bed up here, the little table. That's three. Spotted on here. That's four, five, another guitar clock. We've obviously got six. Look up here. Da da da! Seven! Is that your guess as well? Seven? Yeah. Have you been here before? No. Play us a song. Okay. This is one that I call A Night in the Guitar. Just one night I spent in the guitar. It changed my life and who we are. I think I'm buying Rebecca some guitar lessons for Christmas next year. <laughs> oh! Wow. It looks different from this side, really different. Now it looks more like a small house than a guitar, obviously. But well, this is cute. So there's a picnic bench here and you can just sit here, enjoy your lunch or whatever and look at the views. It's really cool how they've made like the whole shape. Maybe they could create a swimming pool outside in the shape of a violin. Piano. Piano, a piano pool. <gasps> Where did all the snow go? It must have melted. It's so much warmer today. I reckon the wind probably blew it all away last night. It doesn't work like that, Kyle. This feels like true Romanian lifestyle out here. There's animals in every single garden. Like this friendly guy. 
called Roger. He looks like a Roger. He's a Roger! Roger the bear! Fortunately, Roger was actually the closest thing we'd seen to a bear. For now. By now, you're probably well aware of the two things this place is most famous for. Dracula. And we feel like we'd be doing you a disservice if we didn't go and investigate both. Brian's brought <laughs> friends. It turns out Romania has 60% of Europe's brown bear population. That's around six to 8,000, and they're all here in the Transylvania forest. That's 6,000 bears we don't want to bump into, so we're going to play it safe. Welcome to Liberty Bear Sanctuary. That's Liberty with a bear. This place has 123 bears, which makes it the biggest bear sanctuary in the world. All these bears are rescued from cages, circuses, and even private owners. Unfortunately, these bears will no longer be able to survive in the wild on their own, so they'll spend the rest of their lives here. Which isn't so bad, because they have 70 hectares of land where they can play with each other and also get away if they want a bit of privacy. Besides, it's way better than the cages like this that they used to live in. But for some, the damage from the past is more permanent, like this guy, who was permanently blinded by humans. Fortunately, all the profits from the tickets go into looking after these animals, so they're in the best place now. Our experience with bears in Romania wasn't so scary, but maybe this next place could change that. We've arrived at Dracula's castle. All right, we're gonna go in and explore. Don't worry, we're aware that Dracula isn't real. Or is he? Dracula was actually made up for a book by Bram Stoker in 1897. And funny enough, Stoker had never even visited Romania. With only a description of the castle, he managed to build his story with freakish similarities. This castle definitely holds some secrets, like this creepy tunnel that leads up to a hidden passage behind an old bookcase. But things were about to make more sense. It turns out the idea behind Dracula was based on a local myth that the people of this town believed. This is creepy. They believed that at night, the souls of the undead would come back from the grave to haunt and feed off the people of the town. They were named Stry Guy. At least I think I'm pronouncing that right. And the only way to prevent them was to go to the cemetery and put a dagger through the heart or defend yourself with garlic. Since we're staying pretty close by, we had to find out more for our own safety. We immediately began noticing the same thing in every shop. Garlic. It was time to get answers. Can I ask you a question? Do you believe in Strigoi? No? You don't believe? Oh, thank you. Excuse me? Do you believe in Strigoi? Strigoi. Strigoi. No. no. Thank you. Thank you. Confident we'd be able to sleep safely in our guitar tonight, it was time to head back because there's still a few more unanswered questions and we arrived just in time to meet Dragos. So what made you create the guitar? We wanted to do a tiny house. Yeah. We had this place. Guitar was a good idea because a lot of people here are going to the mountains playing guitar. So did you build this yourself? Yeah. Oh my god, I, really? Actually, I built it in my home, in the other property, and I dragged it, dragged it here. <laughs> Do you think this is the biggest guitar house in the world? I think it's the world's only acoustic guitar house. Oh wow! In terms of uh, the shape, yeah. I think this one is the only one which is full shaped guitar. But the real question is, can you actually play the guitar? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well guys, we've stayed in a giant guitar house, had an authentic Romanian experience, met some of the local bears and explored Dracula's castle. And remember, you can stay here too. Just head to the description below. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. We'll be heading to Cyprus next to somewhere that's a little bit on the colourful side. We'll see you there.